Okay, so let's do some Overwatch CSGO. Um, this is my second time recording this because uh, the video kind of didn't record. Um, but let's just turn it off. Okay, cool. Let's play. I um, just finished the first round that has been captured. Um, the guy literally just was like AFK, but he walked forward a little bit. So, yeah, he's doing it again. He's cut. He's just. He's got like something on the keyboard or a program. Which is just making him walk flashback. forward on his own. And he's not technically AFK because he is moving. As you can see, he's moved into an obstacle now, which is holding him up. Hmm. Maybe he's being carried or something. Let's get rid of this for a moment. Uh, so they're on round, they're coming up to the end of the first half and he's got zero zero six, And now he just woke up. Um, this guy's got no chance, but let's see what happens. And literally, he just didn't buy anything. He's got $16,000. And he's just walked forward. Again. So I think, uh, let's just speed, oh no he's come back again, he's come back, and now he's just stopped, is he trying to toggle something on? Uh, he kind of followed that guy pretty well then, unless it was just good cross here placement, but... I really don't know what to make out of this guy at the moment. Is this definitely an element of grieving if the guy is not playing properly? Because Steam or Valve does say, um, if anyone just like prohibit the the goal of winning, I guess you know playing properly, then it is classified as grieving. They have said that. I mean. I think this would be grieving, but it wouldn't if the guy was disabled, if you know what I mean. <clears throat> so that's kind of an element of grieving you have to look at. Maybe the... I don't really want to talk about this because it's kind of weird, but what if the guy was just disabled? He's flashing his own teammates. He fucked up the molly. Needed the floor. I got a feeling that this guy is kind of trying to get carried or something. Uh, the speed up a little bit. Or a bit more, actually. Alright, so he's on the flank. What's this guy going to do? There's a guy flashed around the corner. You can get an easy kill. He's got an easy kill. He's pre-shooting everything. He's gone back. So he's on T-side now. What's he going to do? I think I would definitely vote this guy for Grieving. Just because of his performance. He missed a lot of rounds. Just like for something on the keyboard. Just to walk forwards. Until he walked into a wall. Uh, pretty standard spamming right there. I mean, I'm pretty good at spamming the Glock. So they're gonna push through T spawn, right? Oh, this guy's gonna just try and Rambo it on his own. Right, he's down. And he had an assist. It's like sometimes when I watch these demos, I'm like, shall I just skip to the end? Because this guy just seems to like not be cheating. But look, he's grieving. Is he gonna knife him or shoot him? Yeah, griefing. So definite element of griefing going on right here. Uh, let's do times four. If anything funky goes on right now, he gets owned. Flash in. 
Nades over the top. This guy is just a fucking lunatic. He's drawing circles around the freaking B. He's this guy is just like why why do this? He's like wasting his life force. Well, definitely grieving, nothing else. Beyond you know, beyond reasonable doubt. Let me know in the comments what you think of that. That guy was just a nightmare to have on your own team. If I was playing CSGO and I had someone like that on my team, I would be just be going nuts. I played a game yesterday, actually, where someone was borderline... Uh, he wasn't grieving, but borderline not playing properly, and it just takes uh, takes out the team. Anyway, let me know what you think of this guy in the comments. Definitely grieving. Didn't witness anything else. But yeah, I want to say thanks for watching. I'm going to do a couple more Overwatch videos. Um, sorry I haven't been keeping up with the vlogs recently on the channel, but it's really hard to like vlog every day if uh, your routine is quite similar. And I have tried getting out more for the vlogs, but it just means I don't work that much when, this, when I should be focusing on it. Um, but I am going away in like two weeks. I'm going to like... Amsterdam and Newcastle on a boat and stuff like that. So I'll probably do some vlogs if I get some time. But yeah, it's really early in the morning right now. So I'm going to get scrubbed up. And uh, maybe I'll do a couple more Overwatch videos. But yeah, I want to say thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you think about the overlay thing. Um, I'll show you the one I made for live streaming, actually. This one here. So we can check this one out. See if I can get this working. And then I've got this. Which is like changing game sort of thing. And yeah, I got in a couple more like this actually. Yeah, here's the intermission one. So I've put a bit of work into these. Um, there's going to be some lights going behind the orange pattern. I'll show you in a future video. Anyway, guys, I want to say thanks for watching. Make sure you tune in next time. My name's Juicy Pixel. Peace out.